Tearless time. Who missed the tier lists? I'm going to do one ranking the difficulty of all the Lost Ark raids and for each gates as well to make it nice and spicy. I love making these tier lists and apparently based on the views these get, you all do too, so let's do this. I do want to mention that this rating is indeed based on difficulty, but I am thinking back when I was doing it on item level. So many of these that I rank may not be generally more difficult than another raid, but based on our current knowledge at the time, plays a huge role here. Think back to the prog days basically for this. As always, we get rid of these lame labels and come up with our own. So instead of S, we're just going to say stress. S for stress. Stress, 1 million percent. A is agonizing. 1 million percent. B stands for B. And C stands for a cool, calm clam. And then D... Oh, this is a special one, guys. D stands for Diddy. A reason for this is because this section is for those special gates. You guys know which ones I'm talking about. Yeah, gate one. Get these stupid gates out of my face. These were all designed horribly. Put them all. One, 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 one. We'll order these at the end. But now we can actually begin. So let's go starting off when we were little Makokos back in the day on Argos. So I believe the item level was 1415. I, I don't remember exactly. But we had barely any good gear. There's no elixirs. There's no transcendence. Bro, we had the worst of gears. Keep that in mind. So with that being said, how hard was Argos? So let's start off with, uh, okay, so not gate one, so we'll go with gate two. So in my opinion, I felt like Argos gate two, actually Argos in general was pretty hard. It was kind of that first raid that we kind of did. Oh, actually, I think this was 1370. Yeah, it's 1370, not 14. 1415 is Vault 10, I forgot. So 1370 is all the way back then when tier three just started. So I think it was pretty hard. We didn't have enough information about how to do amazing uptime. We had some crap gear. Supports weren't doing their jobs. Like I remember those times. So I'm gonna put I'm not gonna put it at the top. I'm gonna put it at here. Is that fair, everybody? Anyone who has salt, make sure to leave it in the comments. But let's just keep going because we kind of delayed a little bit. So now we go with Argos Gate 3. For Argos Gate 3, I will say I'm gonna put it on stress. Because I was stressed the entire time for Argos Gate 3. This even, because actually it's equalized in Argos. So if you try to go and do Argos right now, yeah, yeah, you'll kill it pretty quickly with your juiced player, but you will tank so much damage. The amount of damage this boss does is ridiculous. I remember almost getting one shot every single time. Yes, there are lives, but it was really, really hard, especially with all the crap going on. And the first time for us doing raids, it was not a pleasant time. So moving from Alaric all the way to Argos was a huge jump. I'm definitely going to rank Argos all the way at the top. Next was Valtin, right? Valtin, guys, at 1415. So uh, where's my Valtin? Valtin's right here. No, that's a con. I can't read these. Okay, so gate one's already there. So gate two. So gate two, this was the start of our Legion raid experience. So we did get a sneak peek with Argos, but now it was Vaulton. So I do have to rank this pretty high because we still had not enough gear. I'm not going to put it at stress. I'm definitely looking in the agonizing angle. Now, is it going to be easier or harder than Argos gate two? So Argos gate two, if you guys remember, the people split up into sun and moon. And you got to do those. The boss hurts a lot. And overall, not too many patterns per se, but it does hurt. So I think I might have to actually put Valtin up top because it does have a lot more patterns to memorize, especially the beginning phase. I remember wiping so many times because people just didn't understand that Valtin had to charge and break the four towers. Nobody understood that. So there were a lot of wipes there. I'm just going to stay Valtin there. 
Next up is Vicus. So keep in mind, I did Vicus, if you notice, I did Vicus 1, 2, 3. Now most newcomers are going to be like, actually, Vicus only has two gates, bro. Do you even play the game? Do you even play the game? I'm sorry, guys. My bad. Okay, back in the day, there were three gates for Vicus. So all these raids over that I listed here were the old versions of them. They have since then changed, so now Vicus only has two gates. But for the old timers, you guys know what happened in gate one. That was Morpheus. So now gate two is technically, I guess, the new gate one for Vicus, which is just fighting Vicus herself. And that was pretty annoying. I'm not going to lie. And I am going to have to put it... So I, I, it's definitely not stress. So it's now between these two. Is it going to be an agonizing experience? Or is it just going to be B? And in my opinion... Yes, it was difficult. You had to do the poops. You had to do the black stuff. But once people understood the patterns... It didn't necessarily matter about the item level. The HP check wasn't too difficult. So I'm going to put this at B. Just because I felt like, you know, we got the experience from Vulton. So we have that little bit of experience also with Argos. So we kind of got there. So that's why I'm going to put it at two. Now three, though, I'm going to put it, have to put it at the step up. You know, it, it only makes sense. But the real question is, are they harder than Vulton and Argos Gate 2? And I'm going to have to say yes, of course. Vicus Gate 3 was one of the trickiest ones because it took us a long time to figure out, even with all the guides, that the more gauge you have, or like I think it was like 70% and up, the more damage you'll do, but the more riskier it is. So it was really hot, tough. I was going to say hard and tough at the same time, and then it came out as huff. But anyway, it was pretty tough to actually clear this on item level because people were too scared to do damage or they didn't have enough gauge, so they weren't doing much damage at all. Mind the other mechs that happen, so that's why I'm going to put it here. Okay, we move on from Vicus for now, since gate one skipped, and we move on to Clown. So, oh boy, dude. Okay, so if we thought that Vaulton, Argos, and Vicus were hard... Clown was one of the hardest raids in Lost Ark history on item level at 1475. Remember, this is on item level and during those prog days. These gates were impossible. Maybe not gate one, but gate starting from gate two, back attack hell. You are a back attacker. You are not back attacking this boss. And yeah, then you're not going to do damage and don't get me started on the maze. Oh my goodness, even with Discord share, it was tough. So, same similar to kind of how I structured Vicus in like this top-down format. I'm actually going to look at stress, because I already know Clown Gate 3 is going to be stress 1 million. But now agonizing up here. It has to be at the top. And then for Clown, it has to be at the top here. Does everybody agree? It was it was hard. It it made a lot of people quit. Like people were already quitting, of course, but there were a lot of excitements from the first Vaulton and then Vicus. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, look at Lost Dark Key. 1 million players by the way." And then it all just went downhill at Clown. Many, many people quit that I know of, guild members and friends. They all quit. It was a tough time. So that's why. All right. Now we move on to, was Brel first or Kyangale first? I think it was Brel, because we did normal mode first. So for mo normal mode, uh, now there's only four gates, but there used to be six, the people who uh, played this game quite recently. Yes, six gates. We went from a maximum of three gates, and we decided to double that. This raid killed Lost Ark really, really bad. And... For a good reason. It was really hard. So we'll start off with Brel Gate 2. Brel Gate 2 definitely stress. And the reason why, and I, I'm going to put it at the bottom, because the reason why is it was pro kill. And if everybody remembers, you had to fight the head and one person goes into pro kill and then, you know, they're split up. Now, if you had a god pro kill gamer, this gate was pretty easy for the most part, right? The boss did a lot of heavy damage it kept spinning so once you got down with the patterns then the head wasn't so hard but the pro kill was pretty hard so i'm really focusing on that pro kill part because i remember 
when there was no good pro kill, like for example, I'm playing on a support or I'm not playing on a very good class that can do pro kill, like striker, I have to make somebody else do it. And if nobody can do it, then we wipe and we have to find another lobby. This happens so many times. Meanwhile, if I did pro kill or somebody who was really good did pro kill, easy, easy, clear. So it's kind of tough to rate this. Let me know where you guys rate uh, Burrell Shaza Gate 2. I'm just going to put it as stress because it did stress me out a lot. And we'll leave it there. Burrell Gate 3. So Burrell Gate 3 is the... What is that? Is That's the uh, Azina's Knight that got turned. What was her name again? Debussy or whatever? Yeah. So she was pretty chill, actually. And you know where chill is? They go in the cool, calm, clam section. Very, very simple boss. Other than the maze, I think. And some people just didn't know how to stagger, but that's beside the point. Okay, we'll move on to gate four. So gate four was the cube. And I think definitely harder than gate three, but it's definitely not in the difficult tiers, in my opinion. I'm going to have to just put it in B, but ahead of Vicus gate two. Just because, yes, it was kind of tricky because there were a bunch of memory patterns that you had to do. And especially the yellow mech. Oh my goodness. So many wipes because of the yellow mech. But overall, as long as you were standing behind the boss, it was very, very easy for hitmasters and for back attackers because the cube didn't really move that much. I mean, it was literally standing in the middle. So there was not really a choice for you to miss. So it took away all of the kind of prediction uh, prediction side of things when you're casting your skills. You just plop it down. So that's why I'm going to put it at B. Okay. Now we go to the harder parts. So up until 1 to 4, I mean, don't get me wrong. People were still struggling with 2 and 4. But when you got to 5 and 6, that's where people really started to snap. Especially 5. Nobody in their right minds liked 5. Now, I kind of liked 5, honestly. I I'm sorry if that offends anybody. But I did kind of like 5 because it was pretty interesting. But... It was a very, very toxic raid. Very toxic. And it was one of the first times where, oh, you don't have somebody? Well, now it's just completely GG. Like, don't get me wrong. It, it was happening in other raids too. But it really solidified because it was really hard at our item level to get to the next phases, right? It took a long time. Let's say it took 10 minutes every pull to get to a certain phase. And then one person dies. Oops. Now you're screwed. So it was very, very toxic. Everybody hated it because it wasn't forgiving. So I'm going to have to put this at the stress tier. Now, is it harder than Clown? Maybe not because we were, we were geared and more experienced by then. So I'm going to have to put it over here. Harder than Argos Gate 3 and Brawl Shells Gate 2, but not Clown. I think Clown Gate 3 really broke the camel's back in the beginning. It set up everything for Brel. Uh, for Brel Gate 6. So I know there's some people out there that still don't clear this raid. Which is now the new Brel Gate 4. I don't know why. Because for me personally, I felt like this was not that hard of a raid. It was not as punishing as Gate 5. And also very, very telegraphed as long as you memorize the gold meteors. Now to prog it blind, I'm sh I can rank this all the way at the top. If you're going to prog it blind. But with the guides and with our knowledge that we know. It wasn't as hard. But it was still hard. So I will have. It does deserve the stress level. But I will probably actually put it right here. Below gate 5. Because I think gate 5 really got people angry. Because gate 6 was just slightly easier. So it's like why is gate 5 harder than gate 6? Oh I guess another reason why is because. Gate 5 and 6 were kind of tied together. So you had to clear gate 5, 6 in one go. Don't get me started on that. But anyway, let's get rid of the trauma with Brel Shaza. We're done with that. Now we move on to a con. Or no, wait. Oh my goodness, everyone. Oops. I skipped Kyangel. Oh my goodness. Okay. So after, what is it? Clown, I think. Yeah. Is it Clown? No, no, no. After Brel. Brel normal. Then we got to Kyangel. So I guess it works out because Brel hard and Kyangel, whatever. So now we get to Kyangel. So we should be pretty experienced with this by now. 
Uh, gate two was Tienis. That was a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie. That, oh my goodness, the way before you even knew the patterns and all that stuff, it was pretty hard. Now I'm not going to rank it on the top two because it was nowhere near as hard as any of these. But I just wanted to give it a shout out, kind of an honorary mention. It would probably be right here, but I'm just gonna put it at the top of B. Kangel Gate 3 was the the girl. Girl was easy. I, I'm just gonna put it here. Cool, calm, clam. Very, very easy to do. So no, no more talking about that. Kangel Gate 4. So Kangel Gate 4 is where, you know, I had a lot of stress. Now, not the stress 1 million, but because I had to deal with so many people who didn't know how to spacebar the Shadow Mech. And to this day, I still have one character that does Kyan Gale, by the way, because I'm waiting for the next pass. So that character does do Kyan Gale, and there are so many people that died during the Shadow Mech. I do have to put this in the agonizing tier. Now, harder than Gate 2, Argos, yes. Harder than Valton Gate 2, yes. Harder than Ficus Gate 3? No. No. Definitely not. I think Ficus Gate 3 had just way more mechs. Uh, yeah, Kyangel Gate 4. Oh my god, people didn't know how to do the light reflecting mech either. That was a pain in the butt. But it is very clear cut. Ficus Gate 3 is very sensitive because you need to manage your gauge and then all this crap and all this stuff floating around trying to seduce you. That's why... I think Vicus Gate 3 still deserves this spot. Okay, now we're done with Kyangel. Now we can go to a, a con. I almost said Echidna, but it's actually a con. The con is where things kind of turned easier in a sense. And I will say normal mode. Now, Gate 3 of hard mode is a different story. So we'll start off with Gate 2. Gate 2, I think cool, calm, clam. Does everybody agree? This is kind of like, yeah, you know, like it's an intro to a con. A con gate three is kind of where the real stuff happened. The only thing about gate two that really tripped up people, at least in my prog experience, was the lantern mech, where people just didn't understand where to go and kept getting frozen, and it, and it really bothered a lot of people because of that. So, a con gate two, cool calm clam. I'll I'll put it in, right in the middle here. I think it's fair to just put it right in the middle. It, it's definitely harder than Kyangel Gate 3. So we'll put it there. Okay. Akong Gate 3 is... I'm going to have to put... Uh, and this is for hard mode, by the way. So when you're on item level in hard mode, trying to get to the last phase, the secret mech, yeah, it's going to take a really long time. And with bad janitors and just so much damage being floating around and managing gauge and people dying and you have to deal with them it's definitely in the agonizing tier and it's pretty up there so i'm actually going to have to take away the second place throne of vicus gate 3 a con gate 3 beats that all right now we move on to i guess the self-proclaimed by the director the hardest raid in they mine now in my intro i did mention that in general Yes, Thaymine is going to be harder than something like Vaulton. But I can already see me placing some of these way less than Gate 2 Vaulton. Just straight up. Based on Prague. So let's get started. Gate 2 Thaymine is the Val Valanac or whatever his name is. The, the electric boy. He is super, super easy in my opinion. The only thing hard about him is people actually learning how to counter. And then not falling off the edge. So I won't put him in cool calm clam because you do need to be on your toes. But it's pretty close. It's pretty close to cool calm. I always watch TV shows uh, during gate two. I mean, I, to be fair, I do watch gate uh, TV shows in all these gates, but uh, that's besides the point. Let's move on before anybody you know gets at me for you know watching TV instead of focusing on the game. But they mind gate three. <clears throat> Gate 3 Thaymine, I feel like, is one of my favorite raids because all of his patterns are predictable. So as long as you know his patterns, you will have an amazing time. Whether you're a hitmaster, back attacker, whatever you are, you are going to love this raid as long as you know exactly what he's going to do at every time. So, with that being said, whoa. With that being said I'm not going to put him at stress. 
because there's no way he's stress level but he is still a hard rate so i'm going to put him in agonizing just for the sake of cooling down the salt lords who go oh my god but they minus the hardest all right i'll put him in agonizing so i'll put him i'll put him i'll put him here okay happy about that so if i think about hard mode they mine and pure 1630s with level three transcendence because keep in mind you didn't you weren't you didn't have access to level seven transcendence at the time you needed to complete hard mode in order to unlock it let's say people at 1630 did gate three they mine hard with level three transcendence then i think this is kind of a deserving spot otherwise it's it's more down the list towards like b do you all agree let me know all right they mine gate four is the final one so actually newsflash i didn't actually clear they mine gate four yet i don't i'm not even interested in doing it i have too many things on my plate to do at the current moment so i didn't have time to do it but I will say it is definitely harder than They Mine Gate 4. So I will give it an honorable mention and put it right over here in second place. Because I don't know. Let me know, guys. Maybe I'm going to frustrate some people and I can already hear some of the Salt Lords typing. You didn't even do They Mine Gate 4. And how could you say that it's, uh, it's worse than Clown Gate 3? Okay, my bad. Let me know if I'm tripping and I should put it right over here. But for now, I still think Clown Gate 3 on item level by the way, is the hardest raid so far. Now, okay, spoiler alert, I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard, uh, easier than these two. But yeah, it's, it's the hardest raid. Newsflash. All right, let's go on to Echidna. So Echidna was pretty easy, I would say, except the fact that Gate 2 Hard is still tough because of the HP. Not necessarily because of the boss's patterns or and, and whatever. It's just because there is not enough damage being done, unfortunately. In our player base, we are not that great. So most of the players, if you rounded up all of the average players of Lost Ark to run it alone, they'll probably not clear it. So I am going to have to put it in the stress category, but all the way at the bottom because I will say it's not that difficult. It's just the HP that's difficult, which is annoying. All right. Last but not least, before we get to the stupid gate ones, Behemoth. So Behemoth is the most recent thing coming out. Or I, I guess it came out already. <laughs> but yeah, I already have a Behemoth rant video. You guys can go watch that. This stupid boss. Now, let's, let's talk about this for a second, right? So a lot of you are going to be like, oh, the behemoth is so easy. It only has four patterns and dung and dung. And it just goes, and you can see the wing from a mile away. I get it. But remember, for the average player base, and I'm thinking in the situation of a 1620 with, let's say, 35 elixirs. Let's, we're just being generous here. 35 elixirs with level 3 transcendence. Because guess what? They released this on the same time as level 7 Transcendence. So what do they expect? For us to immediately push to level 7 before doing Behemoth? That's going to take 6 million hours. No way. So I'm thinking with no Transcendence, can a 1620 full lobby clear this raid? Yes, they can definitely clear it if every single one of them is getting X45 stacks and just pounding the boss with Atropines and whatnot. Yes, of course. But for the average player base, no, I actually think they cannot with the current stats. They need, they need that transcendence. So with that being said, I do have to put this in the agonizing tier. Now, I'm going to put it at the top. Sorry, guys. Like, I have to. It is way too hard for a regular player who doesn't have transcendence and maybe 35 set and maybe even zero set who knows right they are not going to be able to clear this that's why i'm going to put it here all the sweat lords or not the sweat lords all the sweaty people who are commenting right now you can stop you know like i i get your your point right like i read so many of them i mean hey go ahead and comment it helps with engagement so go ahead you know what yeah go ahead all right with that we finished the gate twos to fours to fives to six cough cough brell now we can get to the gate ones. So let's see. We'll start with Argos first. So I think Argos gate one 
was pretty simple for the most part. Yes, he did some back kicks that people were unfamiliar with, so they were constantly getting kicked around. But for the most part, very, very simple. So I'm still going to have to put it at the first spot. Now we go to Valton. Valton is going to be on the left. So let, let's go starting with the third one, which is Vikas. So I think Vikas Gate 1 is harder than Valton Gate 1. It has to be. Because Morpheus was a B word. He was way too simpy for Vikas. And he made the raid a little too hard. You know, you had to land Nineveh. I remember the damage was pretty low for the purple side party where you needed to land the Nineveh in order to actually clear it. That's how bad the gear was. So if you miss Nineveh, restart. So definitely harder. Okay, moving on to Clown. Clown is going to not. Gate 1 actually, you know, Gate 1 Clown actually shouldn't even be in the Diddy list. He deserves to be, uh, you know, maybe even like Cool Calm Clam or even up here. I don't even know, but he definitely didn't deserve here. But since I have to, I'm going to put him below Vicus, but above Fulton. Next, we got, let's just do Kyangel. So Kyangel Gate 1 was the stupid bird. But this has to be the easiest boss. It was annoying, so that's why they took it out. But it was the easiest boss. Because the only mech you really had to do was the swirly elemental thing that you have to pick up. Okay, you know what? I'll put it above Argos. Because Argos, you just had to stand there. This one, you actually had to kind of aim your body to hit it. But people didn't like this raid because it went up in the air too many times. It's so annoying to do that. So yeah, I'll put it right here. Okay, next up, we got Brel. So Brel Gate 1 was the thing where you split off into fours. You group up into halves, and then you group up as full. So I think, actually, the people who split up in, in the fours when you were 2-2-2, two, 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 that was pretty hard because some people just didn't understand. We kept wiping because of that. So it, it's definitely harder than Argos. Is it harder than Kyangale? Yeah, I think it's harder than Kyangale. Is it harder than Vaulton, though? Hmm. Oh, that's tricky. Because other than that four... Everything else was super easy. You just used your Sidereals to get carried no matter what. You know what? I'm going to put it down here. It, it could honestly be here or here, but I'm just going to put it here just for the sake of time. Okay, let's go on to the remaining ones. So Akon. Akon Gate 1, he does way too many retaliation patterns. I'm going to have to put him at the top. He was definitely harder than all of these. Uh, now we go to Thamine. The Thaymine Gate 1, the only thing annoying about Thaymine Gate 1 is that she knocks you down a way too much. A little way too much. But once you get familiarized with the patterns, you won't get knocked off as much. I personally don't think uh, Thaymine Gate 1 is that hard. So I'm going to actually have to put it mm, maybe... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where does it go here? Like here, maybe? Harder than Valton, but less than Clown. Because it really wasn't that hard. It's not. It's just annoying. Uh, okay, moving on to Echidna. So Echidna Gate 1. Oh, this is my least favorite gate, by the way. Echidna Gate 1. The way you have to charge and then so many mobs and all this crap. And the boss just goes up in the air. The thing we exactly hate. And then he knocks you down permanently. And don't get me started on the splitting up where the party that staggers just gets free MVP and a free time. It is annoying. I'm going to, but I do see a lot of wipes in Echidna Gate 1 still. So I'm going to have to give it second place. Okay. And I think lastly is Behemoth. So Behemoth Gate 1 is a joke. Let's just be honest here. It's, it's going to be towards the bottom. Now, is it harder than Argos Gate 1? Yes. I, I do still think so because you still have to fight the Guardians and blah, 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 blah. It's, it's definitely a lot more patterns than Argos. Is it harder than Kyangale? Mm, Kyangale Gate 1, you just pick up the elements. Yeah, I, I still think it's going to be harder because of higher HP, but it's still going to be easier. But I'm going to put it right here. Just because it was so brain damaged. It, it, it doesn't even deserve to be even considered for the other ones. So I'm just going to stop it at right here. Anyways, this is my tier list. So in summary, 
I think that Clown Gate 3 on item level is the hardest raid in Lost Ark, while Argos Gate 1 was the easiest raid in Lost Ark. Or I guess you can say, I guess, Kyangel Gate 3 too, if you don't count the Gate 1s. But anyway, let me know what you all think. Am I delusional? Or do you guys agree with me? Let me know in the comment section. I love making these tier lists, so make sure to let me know by liking this video so I know that you guys like these tier lists as well. I can't even speak anymore because it's been way too long. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.